How's it going guys? My name is TM Glitch. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this sound from my upcoming track. Here we go. Alright, so to start off with, we're going to pull open the vocal cords. Now, what you're going to want to do to create a chord like this, it's going to sound a little bit of something like this. First, I, uh, we're going to open up the serum patch. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your envelope 1 you're going to want to uh, ramp it up a little bit so that it's not like immediately jumping into the sound because then you're going to have some clicking and it's not going to have that risery effect to it. Next, you're going to want to set your, uh, your, your LFO 1. You're going to want to set that to something a little bit like this. Uh, set it to 1 8th. Have your uh, macro kind of like something like that just just so that it like you can alterate the the chops now you can really set it to whatever you want to whatever it sounds good i found that having it like this uh maybe around 11 with the pitch being at 1 8 is probably the best um and what you're going to want to do with all that set is you're going to want to drag your lfo one to the level and you're going to want to rise that all the way up to 100 percent so that way the sound goes off and off off and on and you're going to want to have it on the noise next you're going to want to get a lead vocal uh something from splice preferably or, or another sample thing of your choice um something airy and breathy something that's going to sound really really good uh, let me see if I can find something for an example. Let's see. Something breathy. Not like that. I give you my all. Something like that, like the ah. Uh, something chop it up, put it in here. Um I'll tell I'll show you what this sounds like just by itself. Now we're going to add the LFO back onto it so you get that choppiness. And that should be it for the sound. Make sure to add a little bit of stereo widening by activating the hyper dimension. Turn the sound, the size all the way down, mix all the way down, and have it at like 15%. Uh, take your compressor, put it on multiband, turn up the gain just a little bit, have the mix all the way up. And that's basically your sound. Um, we're gonna turn off all the post-processing effects. So once you have your sound, it should sound just like this. Another thing that you can do is you can turn the pitch up and you can pan it if you wanted to by using LFO2 to pan. Set that something like this, maybe like 20% and pan it um, and turn on the pitch tracking feature 
So basically, when you play your piano or whatever thing that you're using, it automatically pitch tracks and keeps it in the same key um, and chords. Uh, noise oscillator, you can turn the pitch up or down depending on how well it sounds, but what you're going to have to do is then later for whatever other chords you're layering with any other synths, you're going to have to transpose those or uh, match those to the right key because this will edit the key of what uh, chords you're playing, whether it be uh, higher or lower. Uh, and that's just about it for this sound. So then what you're going to want to do is add some reverb. Make sure the reverb is just getting the high end. The higher end you want to, don't, don't reverb the low end of the sound. So what you could do is you could put an EQ before the reverb, just so that it works that way. Or you can get the Convolution Reverb Pro like I have here. Uh, something like that. Uh, EQ 8. Uh, you don't have to have this on. But mainly you're just going to want the high ends and stuff like that. Uh, make sure you turn on the OTT for maximum OTT-ness, you know, the works. Uh, add like a sidechain kickstart to it, and then an auto filter to, to bring it in and out to the song. And overall, you should have something like... Bim, bam, boom, bop, you are done. Play it all together now. And that's how you make a simple Skrillex-like vocal chop, and it's going to be the main sound used in my upcoming track, Momentum. Uh, make sure you keep on the lookout for that. It will be coming sometime soon. I hope you all have learned something. Uh, maybe experiment on your own. Find some other methods that work with you. Leave a comment down below on what I should uh, do next and maybe some other ideas. Uh, leave any ideas you have on how to improve on this sound below. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.